better. Which is your yeah, whole he, point. He, he just nipped uh, prints on the collar. You're gonna see a session in a video like you've never seen before. This dog meets other dogs, bullies them, muzzle punches them, chases them, and the owner doesn't know what to do about it. He's gonna learn what to do today. It's gonna to start with Prince giving this dog correction. Then we're gonna bring out other dogs. I'm gonna give the corrections to show the owner and to show you at home. Then the owner's gonna give the corrections and the timing and the intensity of the corrections in grabbing the dog, I'm gonna to explain to you, but it's gonna start with Prince. So this dog thinks that he's kind of the biggest, toughest dog out there. He's a good dog. He's not an aggressive dog. He's a dominant dog. But the thing is, he just pushes dogs. And then he goes to the dog park and the other dogs shrimp away. He's kind of a bully. And this owner's like, listen, I, I don't want my dog to be that dog. Most people just don't know what to do. But this guy came out to me. And the whole thing starts with Prince because here's what this dog needs to learn. This dog needs to know that there are bigger, tougher, stronger dogs out there. He literally has no idea. You can see it after Prince gives the correction when you see that part, and I'll slow that part down for you as well. You see him go, oh, I just didn't know. I didn't know that another dog could be that strong, that fast, and be that intense. He, he didn't know it. He needs to know it. And he needs to know it in a controlled environment like we do here because he's gonna learn it somehow. He's gonna learn it from Prince or he's gonna learn it from the wrong dog who's gonna get him and grab him and shake him and send him to the vet. But he's gonna learn at some point. So this is the best way to learn. Prince, play ball right there. Kind of, I like that he play balled, right? He's kind of saying, listen, this, he knows it's gonna get rough, but he's saying that we, we're kind of playing a little bit. So again, he's gonna learn from Prince. This is the same with young men. Young men need to learn that adult professionally trained, let's say in jujitsu men can really hurt them because when you're a young man, you kind of think you're really big and really strong until you run into a real adult man with adult strength. And the young man needs to learn it in a controlled environment with his dad or at a professional place so that he doesn't go to the bar, pop off to the wrong guy. The guy's in a bad mood, guy sends him to the hospital. So it's the same. It's the same with this dog. He's a young dog and young men. All right, guys, if this video helps you, which I think it will if you have a dog like him, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Look at this double, oh, the double P. Is that good? No, it's what it is. Now he's gonna poop. So he's such a marker, he actually marks uh, with poop as well. Really? Yeah, Okay. so that's a poop mark. So my old, Prince doesn't do it, my old Doberman did it. My old Doberman was such a marker, he would mark with poop. He'd poop on top of bushes in the same way you would pee huh. up high. He's a, he's a poop marker. It's just a next level of marking. Look at him. He's licking pee. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Prince so is, is licking pee. What does that pee. tell you that he's a marker? He's a poop marker. He's a pee licker. He's around such a crazy marker. Prince is, um, Prince is upping his marking game. It's interesting. Okay, we'll get to stuff in a minute. Um, we just got to let this play out. Annoyingness, annoyingness, annoyingness. He loves it. The matter Prince gets to add him, the better. Which is your yeah, whole he, point. He, he just nipped uh, Prince on the collar. Prince! Prince! Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, watch. Keep watching. Keep watching. All right, so here's the roughness, little rough, a little over the top. Prince doesn't like it. Prince is standing there. And then here, Prince still doesn't like it. Prince is trying to say, I don't like this, but he doesn't know, right? I told you that. He doesn't know. Now here's where the muzzle body punch comes. Not, It's more of a body punch and Prince does not, boom. And it was pretty hard. He's like a 90 pound dog. He weighs more than Prince. And then Prince goes at him right there. And watch this guys. This guy's like, what is going on? And I really like that his body hits the ground right there. I don't think that would have been finished for him unless his body hit the ground. So Prince got him to the ground. It was ever so quick and then I called him off, but he still got him to the ground. I don't think it, this guy needs to be told in no uncertain terms, okay? And I don't think it works if he doesn't hit the ground like that. Now he's like, oh, I didn't know. I had no idea other dogs, like I said earlier, could be that strong, could be that fast. 
He just thought he does with them what, what they will. And it was the greatest thing for him. And you see it in the rest of this video. He's not going to be perfect with every dog today because they're not prints, but he's a 50, 80% better with every dog. He has needed that kind of correction, in my humble opinion. Right. And, I agree. And, and he needs to, to realize that he has to let up at some point. I agree with you. But he, the Prince is the first dog who has put him in his place. I agree with you. That was what you were hoping for. Yes. Now that I saw it, I'm also glad it happened. And it is possible that we just changed him. It is possible we didn't. We're going to know when we bring other dogs out. And then you're going to say, he's chiller with that dog. And he wouldn't have been 10 minutes ago or two days ago. Okay. That's going to be where we know if that worked. That had an impression, whether it really carries over to other dogs, whether it really carries over to a week from now, that will wait to be seen. But it's, it, it was big and it was bold and has never happened and it probably made an impression on his brain. Yeah, and look at him, he hasn't you, gone near Prince. You are absolutely right that he needed it and uh, I am glad it happened and I'm glad it happened from a dog. You can't let it happen in a dog park because you don't know if that dog's gonna grab him and shake him. And yeah injure him and oh, we exactly. knew it wouldn't and that's why you're here and everything happened that we wanted to happen i'm very happy about that but he is so hesitant now oh he's he he's a different dog around prince that's for sure around prince and we got to see if he's a different dog around other dogs because who cares if it's around prince well really that's a that's a great start in that's my humble start. opinion right now none of the other dogs that come out are going to correct him are going to what correct him oh, oh okay. okay so what we hope is the crazy over the top, but in a good way, correction from Prince carries over to other dogs. And he at least knows that other dogs are capable of that. And then that, uh, that transfers to other dogs, it, not just Prince, but it's, he's not gonna be probably, I mean, this is all fine, by the way. This is all within criteria. But it's that poking with the nose, that's the beginning of the Which he hasn't done yet, right? He has not done that, no. Okay. He's also, okay, I'm just gonna get into it. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Yep, here we go. Sit. All right, now we're gonna apply the correction. Not as effectively as him, but we are gonna apply it. And go do it again. Why don't you Over do there. another correction so I can okay. mimic you if I can. Okay. Yeah, and the thing with the Prince deal was that yeah. he felt Prince's strength. And the thing with yeah. my grabbing him deal is he felt my strength. Now this is all normal. We gotta let him be a normal dog. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then what is the behavior that we are gonna correct? It is- well, Once he starts poking out- Poking for is... sure. Yes, and we have to go off the other dog. So the, uh, look at this other dog. Yeah. Sure. This is the most playful dog you'll see. Hey! Okay, that's my last one. It's you now. Okay, okay. so I said, hey. Uh, just came out. We can say leave it. I don't really care. He responds to leave it okay. pretty well. Let's say leave it, and then I want you to go uh, grab him. And even if he goes, oh my God, okay, I won't do it anymore, Dad, we still grab him. So you, after a few seconds, he just released him. Right? Yes. Is that the idea? That's the idea. Okay. He got it. He was like, yep. okay, dude. He got it. Okay, you're the, you're the guy. Got it. Okay. It'll probably only happen with this dog, and it may not happen again based on two corrections. Tell me how far I should let it go, or at what point I should go grab him. I will. Okay. You know. I guess. I, guess. I mean, I think right. you know. You're right. I would say a hump is criteria. Hold okay. on. Good. Check in with you. Okay. If you think, yes. Go get him. Henry, sit. Good job. Stop it. Leave it. And let him go. I'd say okay. a little longer. You hold him a little longer. Okay. I'd say uh, the leave it was too late. You uh, did a good job. Um, I think you were on him. The words don't matter. The grab matters. You did a good job. I could tell you were flexed. He felt your strength. Um, I would just hold him a little longer. Doesn't so this is a great explained. strategy. It's exactly what I was hoping for. Hey, you're Joel the dog wizard. So come on. That's why <laughs> we're Dog here. wizard. I like that. Because dog whisper is taken. Yep. Dog wizard.